There was supposed to be a big celebration of cherry blossoms last weekend in Luzerne County, but like many other things, the festival was canceled. But when John Meyer took the Pennsylvania Road to West Pittston, he found the trees were ready for their close-up. These cherry blossom trees in West Pittston did their part, blooming just in time for what should have been the festival in their honor last weekend. That half-century-old tradition was canceled, but these trees don't need that stage to put on a show. It's hard not to think about what we are missing out on this year. These blooms are a reminder that there is still much to enjoy, beauty to behold. Skycam 16 helps us take in what is an explosion of pink lined up along the Susquehanna Riverbank here. Tree after tree, just glowing in springtime glory. No, they weren't the backdrop for the festival this year, but they're still calling for the community to come take a look. We answered that call. We experienced the wonder when you pass under the canopy of flowers. We saw how each branch holds on to dozens of blooms. We found it easy to forget about the many concerns in the world when you just pause to see the good all around us. These beautiful blossoms, there's just nothing like this, this glory of nature. Roxanne Aragin appreciates the constant nature provides during a time filled with change. Can't cancel it, nothing changes. Nothing changes from pandemic to, you know, war, wars, whatever. It's just not gonna change. The nature will be there. Cherry blossom trees have deep roots back to Japan. And in Japanese culture, these trees carry great importance, great meaning. That country anxiously awaits their blooming every spring, knowing these delicate flowers often only last a week. To the Japanese, that short burst of beauty represents that nothing is permanent, the fragility of life, to appreciate every moment because it may not last. Maybe that's a little lesson for all of us right now. We all know what we've lost, but we can try to treasure what we still have. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Luzerne County.